So you blocked off time to write, and then when you get to that time, you don't feel inspired, you don't feel motivated. So what do you do? You read another research paper, and then maybe you decide to check your email, and finally you never get your paper done. Hi, this is Dr. Jia, and today I'm gonna give you ten writing tasks you should do whenever you feel uninspired or unmotivated. The goal is to make sure you make progress in your paper. Number one. Make tables, figures, or graphs to represent visual concepts or trends in a paper. That means you can either make mock tables, maybe you can combine multiple tables into one, or sketch a figure or graph. Even if your results are not ready, you can start doing this because when the results are ready, you just need to fill in the results. Number two, make an outline of your paper. This is particularly good for your for early stages. And I highly recommend sending the outline of your paper to your co-authors before spending too much time writing beautiful paragraphs and finding the perfect sentences for any of your prose. Because what you want to make sure is that everybody is agreeable to your result interpretation and the discussion points. Number three, write on a blank page of paper. So some of you may have trouble just doing with outlines and may feel restricted. I've heard this before. Oh, I'm a creative type. I can't do outlines. So for some of you who are that way, what I recommend is you can definitely do free writing first, and you know spend 15 or 30 minutes to do free writing. But after that, what you can do is do something called reverse outline, where whereby you、um, reorganize the paragraph and come up with the、um, outline of the paper. That way, you can still. Go through the outline with your co-authors before everybody dive deep into writing.、Uh, dive deep into writing the prose and paragraphs. Number four, copy parts of your research protocol into your research paper. So when you prepare a research protocol, you would have written a background section. You have some the literature review. You have the study aim and objective, and finally the study method. So what you can do is to copy this part of your、uh, protocol into your manuscript. Just make sure you change it to past tense, and make sure the background section needs to be transformed into a proper introduction section. Number five, pull together pieces of older documents yet written into your new manuscript. So think about the rejected paper. There could be some discussion points that you could use in your new paper, or maybe think about transitional phrases, beautiful sentences you've used before, and you want to use it again. I know conducting a research project is an overwhelming process, so I made the idea to paper blueprint for you. This is a this blueprint is a seven step process from idea generation to paper submission. So be sure to get a copy by clicking the link below. Number six, restructure a paper that you've been working on. So after you've written a paper, you want to make sure that it flows well. So you can organize the paper, you can organize the paragraph to make sure the whole paper or that that section、um, has good flow and good cohesion. Number seven, line edit something you've already written. And when I'm talking about editing, make sure you do it step by step. Don't start working on some of the words and then sentences and then paragraphs is too confusing. So what you want to do is think about the paragraph structure first.、Um, do you have a topic sentence? Do all the sentences in the in the paragraph does it support your topic sentence? Then once you're done with that, you start looking at the sentence level. Is it clear? Is it too complex? Is it concise? Is it、um, is it precise? Once you're done with that, then you can start moving on the words. Oh, should I change this particular word?、Um, should I look at this abbreviation? Number eight: summarize key points of another research article to support your argument. That means you are doing more literature to find supporting evidence. So, what other studies are consistent with your findings, or what other studies are contradicting your study、uh, study findings? Just be careful not to use this、uh, time or getting evidence as a procrastination tool. Number nine: check for accuracy. So check your references, your numbers, and words. And this step is more important than you think. So for references, make sure you are citing the primary source or not the secondary source. Check to make sure all the numbers in the manuscript and tables match. Look at the footnotes, figure legends. So if you have a few mistakes here, here and there, the reviewers will ignore it. But if your manuscript has many errors, they may lose trust. So I want you to think about this. They are already putting so much trust in. How you did your study design, how you conduct the study, and how you analyze the study. So if they see evidence that your paper is full of mistakes, they're going to start having some、um, concern about how careful you are when you're doing the study. Number ten, prepare the documents required for submission. 
So this is more at the later stages of your manuscript writing. After sending out the final draft to your co-authors, don't just sit around to wait or and twiddle your thumbs. Make sure you start the submission process because there are many documents needed for submission. Think about your checklist, cover letter, conflict of interest for, um, the documents, your supplemental files, and even time to put the names and affiliation. That takes time. To summarize, these are the 10 things you could do in a writing session to make sure that your research paper is moving forward. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.